Hello friends, welcome back to Mrs. McNeil's class at home. Today is Wednesday, I hope you're having a great morning so far. So as you know, this week we're talking about how babies change. So today I wanna discuss um, ages and stages from newborn all the way to preschooler, which is what you are. You are a preschooler. So let's see. First, a baby is born and it is a newborn. So from the time babies are zero to two months, they are called newborns. After that, they become an infant. They are considered infants. So an infant can be, oopsie, an infant is three months to a year old. So once the baby turns one, it is a toddler. Can you say that? Toddler, good. And a toddler gets ready to learn how to use the bathroom. All right, and then after the toddler stage, it is uh, a preschooler. So after the toddler stage, the child becomes a preschooler. And a preschooler is what you are from four to six years old. So here we have ages and stages from newborn to a preschooler. So let's review. So first the baby's born, it's called a newborn, right? Newborn. Then the baby grows up a little bit and he becomes or she becomes an infant. And an infant is from about three months old to one year. So remember, after one year, they become a toddler. Very good, a toddler. And that's from one to three years old. So if the baby, is, if the child is one, two, or three, they are a toddler. Like my daughter turned three in February, so she's still a toddler. And then once you turn four and you go to school, you're at the preschooler age. You are a preschooler and you'll be a preschooler until you're six years old. So friends, today we're going to read a book called Another Important Book by Margaret Wise Brown, pictures by Chris Rashka. The one important thing about being one is that life has just begun. You can't quite talk, you can't quite walk, you found your nose and discovered your toes. You've seen the moon and felt the sun. But the important thing about being one is that life has just begun. The important thing about being two is all the things that you can do. You can walk, talk, and sneeze and wheeze, and laugh and tease and cough and dance and jump and prance and cry and run and have some fun. And the important thing about being two is all the things that you can do. The important thing about being three is being me. Who is it that can open their eyes and see? Me. Who knows the difference between a pig and a tree? Me. Look, she's pig and tree, she knows the difference. Who runs around as busy as a bee? Me. Who is funny and not a bunny? Me. Now at four, you can open the door. You've grown a lot, you'll grow some more. You can blink and think as quick as a wink. You can open your eyes to a world of surprise. You can run and race everywhere. You can sing and fling your arms in the air. But the important thing about being four is that you are bigger than you were before. The important thing about five and six is that you learn a lot of tricks. You can learn how to count, you learn how to read, you know how to dress and get what you need. You can almost tell time, you can speak in rhyme. 
But the important thing about five and six is that you learn a lot of tricks. Each day you grow a little more, each day you're older than before. At one, your life has just begun. At two, there's so much you can do. At three, you discover me. At four, you're bigger than you were before. At five and six, you learn some tricks. But the important thing about six, five, four, three, one, and two is that you are you. The end. I hope you enjoyed it. And this week we're also reflecting on the things that we used to do and what we can do now, right? So this is a great story that shows us how each year that passes we learn to do more and more, right? So my friends, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you guys soon, okay? Bye.